Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, today is going to be epic because apparently we're going to be seeing a Nintendo Direct style press conference from Sony and it seems like they want to try and reveal a lot of the big secret projects they've been working on. Maybe we'll get a chance to see more screenshots from The Last of Us Part 2 or maybe something like an entire trailer for the Final Fantasy 7 remake. Something to basically remind us of the fact that even though the PlayStation 5 is coming, we still have a lot of great reasons to be excited for owning a PlayStation 4. Alright, let's watch it! One hour later... What the hell was that? What the... What's up gamers, Dreamcast Guy here, and I just got done watching the Sony State of Play conference. And to say I'm a little bit shocked would be an understatement. That was so totally underwhelming. This is, okay, so I'll just say this right up front. I am disappointed. I'm very disappointed, but I'm not exactly mad. I'm mostly just kind of befuddled because really, if you're coming out and saying that you're going to be doing a big show, I expect a little bit more than this. So what we saw during this almost 20 minute long press conference was a couple little indie games and lots and lots of stuff that basically amounted to PlayStation VR advertisements. Now, obviously I've heard all the rumors of the fact that they're really going to be pushing PSVR extremely hard when it comes to the PlayStation 5, but just seeing an entire press conference dedicated to that is just kind of, well, it's odd to me since I still think that that's a pretty small part of their fan base. Now, I'm not insulting them. I'm not saying that PSVR fans suck. I'm just saying that there are almost a hundred million PS4 owners and there's like three million PSVR owners. So why did you just do an entire thing that was just a bunch of little trailers for VR games? So some of them look kind of neat, like Iron Man VR, even though that's probably just going to be an on-rail shooter where I'm pretending to shoot stuff out of my wrists. But I guess my problem is the fact that you have so many giant things that people are genuinely curious about. Now, personally, one of the things that I wanted the very, very most was, of course, some sort of news about Death Stranding. I am extremely excited for that and very, very curious as to when it's going to be released. I mean, it has to be soon, right? I mean, if you've been talking about this for a bit and we're coming up on the next console generation, it means that it needs to be dropping this year, right? Who knows? We really don't know, and the more quiet you guys are, the more it's hard to just even properly speculate. I mean, my biggest issue is the fact that you guys didn't really show us anything crazy in this. I mean, sure, it's cool that we finally saw Concrete Genie again, and it's nice to know that that didn't get cancelled, and yeah, it's kind of neat the fact that there's a Five Nights at Freddy's VR game. I mean, spooky stuff that I put on a headset for is always interesting, but my big issue is, was this really supposed to be an entire press conference? Is this something you wanted to come out with? So typically, whenever you're trying to come out with a new show, whether it be a Nintendo Directs or something on the lines of Inside Xbox, I would imagine that the best way to do that is to start off by having your episode one go out with a bang. Come out on stage and basically say, hey, check out this game and this game and this game and this game and this game. And instead you guys came out and said, hey, we got a couple little indie games for you. They all cost $28 to make. Seriously, they actually showed so little stuff, I was able to write down every single game they showed and extended details about it just because it was such a lackluster presentation. I will say that, surprisingly, the one thing that really actually did impress me is they showed a big chunk of story for Days Gone, and now I finally get it. After playing the demo of it at PAX South, I wasn't exactly impressed, but I could understand what they were going for. Now that I've actually seen a chunk of the story, I do want to play this. I actually want to play Days is gone after watching that. But this is the only thing that was even mildly interesting about this showing. Why didn't they bother to expand that? Why didn't they bother to do more demos? Why didn't they bother to actually bust out to neither giant games? Where is Ghost of Shishima? Why not come out and just say something like a giant thank you to everybody who bought a PlayStation Vita? Because now that that's officially dead, at least do a giant tip of the hat or something, it could have taken like five seconds and your fan base would have loved it. But this, this was absolutely nothing and it just blows my mind because you guys have so many games you're currently working on. I mean, it's like seriously, if I was just sitting in a room with all these different gold bars and I was just supposed to hold something up to the camera and I decided to hold up my crappy off-brand TV remote, why wouldn't I hold up one of the gold bars? Those are the actually good things that people are interested in. Where is the big stuff? Where's the surprises? Where's the cool stuff that we are going to be playing in 2019? Not just VR games, show us the crazy stuff, the exclusives that made the PS4 so famous in the first place. 
But what did you guys think about it? Did you get a chance to watch this rather peculiar showing? And is there any of these indie games that you actually think are super, super neat? If you're somebody who actually likes the uh, PSVR a bunch, let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'll make you guys a deal. If this video somehow gets like 3,000 likes, I'll actually go out and buy a PSVR. Maybe I'm wrong, or maybe that thing is actually great. So I'll, I remain open-minded, and maybe I'll get one over by it. Thanks so much for watching, gamers. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, share it with your friends, and subscribe if you haven't already. But do be the biggest favor of all, and keep dreaming of Death Stranding and Last of Us Part 2. Thanks so much for watching that video. If you want to see something else, you can always click this link to see what I put up last or, you know, subscribe and see what's coming up next. Also, I promise that whatever I do, it'll try not to suck.